The effect of a gravitational wave here on the Earth is that it stretches and shrinks space-time. So as it passes through me, for example, I would get a little shorter and a little wider, and the other way around at the period of the gravitational wave. So the way we try to detect that is by using an interferometer. What we do is we start with a laser beam, and we shine it at a beam splitter. This is a mirror that sends half the light in this direction and the other half of the light in this direction. Then we put mirrors at each of those ends, the light reflects back, and we measure the interference of the light, which is basically a way of saying we compare how long the light took in this arm to how long the light took to travel in this arm, and that comparison tells us whether a gravitational wave was, came by or not. And that's how we do it. Now, the difficult part about this is the scaling. So it turns out that if the gravitational wave comes by, it changes the distance between the laser and these mirrors by an amount delta L that's equal to H, which is the strength or amplitude of the gravitational wave, times L. So H is given to us by nature. It's about 10 to the minus 21 for a neutron star binary system. L is something we control, and we make it about a kilometer uh, large, the longest detector we can think of. And together, then, we have the business of measuring 10 to the minus 18 meters. And that's how we measure a gravitational wave.